I'm recording now. Go for it, go for it, George. Okay, so yesterday, I think we managed to make a really good job with the launch. We obviously had to finalize the migration and we have successfully transferred to all accounts that have burned the tokens. All people of the previous holders that have not burned their tokens or sold or bought more, they will be handed manually. We have a support group for this and each case will be reviewed and each person should receive either a refund or their tokens based on his case. So this will take us some time, maybe one week, maybe more, I don't know. And but be assured that everything is okay and you will receive or a refund or your tokens. Uh, this is on the one hand. On the other hand, we have the new launch. I think we managed to pull it off quite well. And we had a lot of shout outs. We had uh, in Twitter from crypto influencers, we had on Instagram from models, we had banners, we had PR done. And I think the budget for this that we spent was even more than 100,000. We are still calculating everything and we are still making assessment on all the elements and making sure that all the people that we paid posted because organizing uh, launch and all the people to post at the same time it's not something very easy and the whole team was working in the last 24 hours and we gave everything that we can for the project and we will obviously summarize everything we'll get all the influencers who posted we'll put stories on them we have started announcing more ambassadors we have uh, PR ongoing, obviously, and we haven't uh, stopped the banners. They're all working. So this is just the start. But anyway, as you all know, this is just the start of the NFT. Uh, obviously, I think that we proved to you that we have resources, we have experience, and obviously we have the expertise to make this project a reality. We are still very early in the project. We are happy that after sending all the um, previous NFT tokens, uh, we managed to, <clears throat> uh, to, uh, to not to drop the price. And it's higher than the pre-sale at the moment. So I think we are going to go on only up from this time onwards obviously there was a lot of hype and a lot of people came for the launch just to make quick quick money and then go but i think now uh only the real investors stay and we thank you for for all the, the support that you give us and we hope that soon we'll make this project big so this is just an update on the last 24 hours uh obviously now uh, after assessing what we have done during the launch we are going to see exactly what is going to uh, what worked what we can do better and obviously we will learn from our mistakes like we had done with the previous token and we will improve and we will make sure that we only focus on spending money for the things that worked if we see that maybe buying uh, shout outs from influencer doesn't work we'll not focus on this we'll focus on let's say banners we'll focus on pr we we'll, we need to find out what works to make this a reality uh, we're actually thinking of including some technology i have been already speaking with the team to make marketing tracking and actually see from each marketing campaign if we get a conversions. How this would work is when we develop uh, NAFTA swap, essentially this will be on our server. So what, we'll, what we can do is we can see exactly if one person has actually swapped some cryptocurrency to NAFTA and we can put tracking links. So we, in all our advertisement campaigns, we will set up tracking and uh, we will track with pixels, with cookies, and we'll see uh, which campaigns actually bring us users and investors and we'll only focus on them. This will obviously will take some time 
but from my point of view as the marketing manager uh, as the marketing officer i think that this is the most important thing because if we have statistic on what is working we can uh, actually focus only on on this uh, this is on the one hand on the other hand we are going to focus on working with more ambassadors and ambassadors to be more engaged in the project not only in terms of posting but also in terms of content creation so we have been speaking with Eva Elfi with Luxury Girl and we will try to cre create nafty specific content with all the ambassadors that we have so people are more interested to see uh, more of them and as i'm saying this is only the start we are gonna grow a lot and we are gonna make this big so i think this is a brief update which i can give and now it's for questions time for questions George, is it possible to go through the list that I sent you? Yes, let me see it. Okay, so. Okay, so this is a list of the things that we need to do. Maybe I'll post it as well on the group. Let me just post so people can see. Did you post in the discussion group? No, because I wanted you to see it first. Yeah, it looks good. So in the list we have, uh, this is something like daily tasks, yeah? What the community need to help us with and what we need to do, right? Yes. So we have suggestions about coin market cap listing. This is, I think, already in progress. We have applied and we need to get listed. We already have more than 2500 holders or even i think it's maybe 5000 now so i think we are eligible for this we have to do upvotes at various uh sites such as coin hunt coin sniper gem fighter gem hunters also by the way we're speaking today with a team that we can also run banner campaigns there because for example let's say come rocket they send their people to vote for their token there they will be able to see NAFTA as well. And when you look at it, NAFTA, it's actually the, the other token, which is the only other token that is now providing passive income for its holders, because we already have uh, NAFTA TV, which is integrated with NAFTA Pay, and it's already generating money. And as we announced earlier, we are going to uh, put this money back into the project every quarter so we're gonna with the money that we receive we're gonna put it back in the project this is our goal and no other other token currently is having this and what's the funny thing is that our market cap does not actually correspond to the product and what we actually have because all others they have much much higher market cap but they are much, much uh, way, way behind us in terms of technology. So from my point of view, what we need to make sure is that people actually understand what we have and why are we better. And obviously all the people who are here, I, I guess you already understand that <laughs> we are far, far ahead in terms of technology and they will have to maybe work months, if not years, to actually be on our level. But anyway, this will come with time. So yeah, I agree with the list that you need to put and uh, that you put for upvote. So apart from this, to send the community to vote for us, we can also put banners there so we can get exposure when people from other tokens go on the websites. In terms of Reddit, I agree with all the subreddits that you posted there. So yeah, we need to show in Reddit as well. AMAs. We, the more AMAs we do, obviously, the better. Yesterday, I arranged around, I don't know, five AMAs. I haven't stood out of my computer for five hours to make all the five AMAs and answer all the questions, but I think it had a very good effect, uh, in obviously, in terms of members in the group and getting new investors, because when I saw the number of holders of the new NAFT token compared to the old one, it's, I think, even double, if not triple. 
So yes, I agree with the AMAs and I will do as many AMAs as possible. So if you have any good groups that I can do AMA, just let me know. We'll try to arrange and we'll pay for it. In terms of Telegram, constant voice chat with the moderators. Yes, I'm okay with this, obviously. I have I cannot understand in voice chat because I have to also work and if I'm in voice chat I cannot focus that much. So we can have moderators from in all time zones and yes they can hold voice chat so that's good. And we already agreed with the team about chat that we will recruit more moderators especially in time zones like Australia and more in the US as well because I think we are lacking moderators in this time zone. So if if you have any suggestions for good moderators, or maybe you would like to step forward as and apply for one, please let me know. We'll discuss with the team and uh, you can start working with us. Uh, ambassadors joining chat in Telegram uh, to say hi. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So some of our uh, obviously, ambassadors from Russia, their English is not that good and they are shy to speak, but maybe I can tell, I can speak to them, I can just tell them to say hi or something like this, how they feel about the project. I'll try to arrange this as soon as possible. For you as girls, I need to also speak to them and see if they will be happy to be our guests in one of the MAs, so you can also get their point of view. But we are working now to close deals with ambassadors who will be much, much more engaged with the community and who will be a valuable part of the project. Ads, KuCoin, yes, this is ongoing. We have not stopped this, so for sure this is one of, we'll be up there working all the time and we'll update you uh, for the budget that we'll put there. Dex tools. France to arrange refreshing with his bots being number one will have great impact. Okay, so we'll do this. France will maybe develop a bot. We'll do this. Others, ambassadors to mention that they're ambassadors at their bio in Instagram, Twitter, crypto influencer promotion. Okay, I will speak with girls and maybe uh, in, in their bio, I'm, I doubt that they'll put us in, the, in their bio but I can maybe make them to put a link in their link tree or website uh, so, so people can go to the token as well. So I think I went through the full list. Hey, George, there you go. Is, there a, is there a possibility of, uh, of giving the girls wallets and yeah. um, just having them accept NAFTY tokens? Yes, this is what we have been doing. Of oh, course, so like, they, the, gir the girls have them? No, I mean like post up their wallet so that they're, the, the viewers, who the people who interact with them have the ability to just send them nafty. Oh, and then they'd yeah. have to go and buy it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that would be cool, actually. Uh, we can do this as part of nafty pay. We can set up maybe a simple page where they can receive like a link tree, but nafty pay page or something like this and there they can receive nafty yeah or they can just fake it post up their um their metamask wallet address you know just like oh for donations you know i also accept nafty tokens here's my address and then people would have to go and find it i don't know just thinking something creative yeah this would be cool yeah i'll speak with them and i think they they will they agree Hey, George, another question that was brought up a couple times uh, throughout the night and this morning is people was wondering if we could do, do like YouTube videos or something of the girls, you know, of the ambassadors talking about NAFTA, you know, representing NAFTA and all that. That was one of the biggest complaints overnight. Just, there wasn't enough ambassador effort. Yes, we have obviously asked all our ambassadors to <clears throat> to send us a video, but let me tell you from experience, because I have been working with models for the past few years, and sometimes I cannot even make them to send pictures for their OnlyFans so they make money. They just tell me, 
listen, use our old photos. You can make money with this. Girls are extremely lazy and they make a lot of money and they cannot be bothered to do anything. And I'm actually even surprised that we managed to get some of the videos because these people that we contacted, they're first of all, very hard to reach. And second of all, even if 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 you pay them, even if you pay them 10,000, doesn't matter, they are lazy and they will not do it. So on the one hand, I agree with you. On the other hand, I based on the experience, it's not very easy to do this, what, <laughs> what you're saying. So you're saying these girls are almost like the paper hands that won't go out and chill and want free, free instant money. They are hard to work with. And obviously they are, for girls, they are only motivated usually by cash in hand. This is what motivates girls. And obviously when you work worldwide, it's sometimes hard to reach them. So yeah, but we, we are going to try our best and we are going to obviously uh, try to engage them much, much more and they for us to send many videos. Can I speak now for myself one minute only uh, to tell you the, the feedback I got generally from the community? First of all, the marketing yesterday was, was phenomenal. Congratulations. Uh, this is your field, so you excel in that. Uh, today, the issue we had is that, was that the chat was uh, almost dead. Voice chat we did not have. Everybody was asking where are the mods, where are the mods. So what we, I think what we need to um, concentrate in the next two, three days is to maintain the hype, create the hype. This is a long-term project. I fully understand. The, we are not here for the hype, most of us. We know that this is long-term. Uh, but in order to get new holders, uh, I think we have to play by their rules. So uh, this is a voting uh, at the sites that we send you. Reddit posts. Maybe we can assign someone to write nice Reddit posts and post them. Twitter. Uh, put uh, our ambassadors on the Twitter. Uh, someone, uh, mods being at the chat and saying, guys, go there, do that in the voice chat. So to create a little bit of hype, because I think this is only what we need and it's not expensive. It's not something expensive. We just have to organize it. That's all from me. I, <clears throat> I completely agree with you. And we actually spoke with the team. We had a very long meeting today with the whole team after the launch, maybe three, four hours. And this is one of the main points that we also addressed. So yes, we agree with you and we will fix it. Obviously this will take planning and we will do it. We, we support this. Hey George, how are you doing? Hey, Jay. All good? Good, good. Yeah, so my my main concern or um, what I wanted to kind of discuss and keep our eyes on is the, the PooCoin ads. Um, I know you guys are running them finally, which is amazing. And we, we saw a really good uh, 9 million market cap. I think we had 7 or 9 yesterday. Um, but I was wondering because it looks like you're spending about $1,000 a day. And the competitors, um, I know, like even Pornstar Token, which recently launched, they were spending around three thousand a day. And I know Come Rocket, when they were running, they were spending around like five thousand a day. And um, I'm just wondering if you have a plan to give the PooCoin ads another test run at a larger budget, and maybe even for like one day just to see what the, the how the market responds to it. Because um, when I've showed this project to friends and family, they instantly see it and compare it to other projects and they buy. So I feel like the fastest way and the way of least resistance as far as bringing people and introducing them to everything that you guys have built would be via PooCoin ads. Um, a lot of the people that are on PooCoins understand how to buy the product and invest in it and i feel like that's going to be the path of least resistance um what are your thoughts on that i agree with you this is another point that we touched today and we are going to test with the budget that you suggested 
now we're just finished with the creatives we'll share obviously with the community our creatives so you can see obviously where we spent money because if we spend five thousand dollars a day we may we must make sure that our creatives actually uh, are eye-catching and they will make difference so yes we will we will do it as you suggested awesome man uh, i'm really excited to hear that thank you very very much how's it going george I'm still alive, thank you. <laughs> yep, so am I. So my name is Ash. Uh, a couple guys in the chat know me. I've uh, been, been involved with a bunch of adult tokens. Uh, I'm an adult photographer in the real world and I've been published three times as well as in the crypto, crypto guy. So that's a little background. But uh, I've been giving this idea to a bunch of uh, you know different tokens, um, essentially uh, some what could be seen as competitors, but they're not. Um, and I just think that it would be good if you guys who actually are on your shit and, you know, are able to deliver uh, would implement it. Essentially what uh, the suggestion would be is having a, um, I know that we're doing NFTs uh, and I know that we're doing, you know, basically every sin- single form of uh, adult <laughs> entertainment or adult uh, interaction with adult stars. Um, Something that uh, I suggested to several teams is that uh, when you, when someone buys an NFT, um, it actually has an additional um, caveat to it. So like whether it's a, you know, a FaceTime or whether it's a piece of lingerie from a shoot or whatever, and it would incentivize more people to buy NFTs because they know that NFTs, although everyone says, you know, it's going to be a huge thing. I think that it can, if you add that little caveat of, you know, you're bidding on a personalized video or whatever, it could definitely help um, gain a lot more traction and could definitely be a good marketing and selling point um, for uh, Nafti at least. That's just a, that's just an offhand suggestion. Uh, but as far as an actual question, uh, as far as uh, ease of access, because I know that this is a very difficult sell to a lot of people as far as like you know they don't want to set up a crypto wallet um as far as like you know your average joe that's just watching um you know porn on looking for whatever their favorite model is on the internet uh how do you guys plan to tackle the ease of access for the average user not someone that's actually in crypto Okay, so first of all, about your first point, I think this is actually a great suggestion, and maybe we can incorporate this in our NFT marketplace, which is NFT art. So I hope we can do it. Uh, it's very good idea. About the other question that you have, we already spoke with the team, and team we. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, continue, man. Continue. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, what we were discussing with the team is that we are going to make it possible to buy <clears throat> NAFT token with debit and credit card on NAFT TV. This is actually not something difficult to do. It takes it will take one or two days. It's not a problem. We just need to arrange with the payment solution, and the average Joe, as you said, he will be able to buy NAFT easily, and he will be able to purchase content with the NAFT. So yes, this is already set in motion. This was one. This is obviously in our roadmap, and we are going awesome. to do it. Awesome. That's that's the only question I had. Thank you so much. Uh, hey George, I had a I had a question for you regarding the upcoming marketing and advertising. I think that so we've got um, the launch of the Nafty art coming up, and then followed by Nafty fans. I think um, incorporating those launches into the marketing campaign now uh, would probably be a good idea. We can build up to the the, you know, the initial launch day of of Nafty Art and having that open up, and you know, also that would that would generate some hype for people who want to buy the NFTs. They would have to buy the tokens, then they'd be exposed to the ecosystem and everything else. Um, and it also shows about a lot of good forward progress in that. You know, we're not just trying to hype the token, you know, we're actually showing product and product is launching. And I think maybe some campaigns that are specifically organized around those launches would be extremely beneficial to us. What do you think? 
Yes, I agree. Uh, we are going to incorporate this into the launch as, as, as well. And also, I think from my point of view, when we launch the NFT art, and then actually uh, creators, they will have the incentive to actually maybe even promote daily uh, the NFT art. And when they promote NFT art, obviously they're promoting the whole ecosystem and NFT token. So I think this will be a great way to increase value of the token, and I'm sure that we will. Uh, we are already testing <clears throat> NFT art. We will need to finalize a few bits and pieces, and I hope we'll be able to launch on the date that we announced. Um, what what date is that, by the way? I forgot. Pardon? What what date is the scheduled launch of that? I think it's on the it's on the website. You can see it on NFTToken.com. It's announced. Let me just check. It's after five days, six days. So six six days away for the for the launch. Yeah, because yeah, that I mean that, that also would would uh, go ahead go ahead. Uh, we are going to make a soft launch, and obviously we are launching an IT product, so we're not going to go in marketing for the soft launch. And obviously, this is why we have also the community. You can help us. Uh, fix everything because obviously there will be bugs. There is no perfect IT product. I don't know, <laughs> but it doesn't exist this kind of concept. So the community will help us check everything. You will help us um, make sure that everything's perfect, and then we'll go all out in marketing. Yeah, it's good. I think if we if we also gear the room up towards talking about this impending soft launch and how the users are going to test it and everything else, it also distracts them from chart hawking all the time and and you know it's it's future forward um and taking up their mind getting ready for it you know touting it i think it'd be fantastic looking forward to it. yeah perfect another question george i was asked multiple times last night was merchandise uh, is there a merchandise product line coming t-shirts hoodies jackets hats Yes, we are going to do Nasty Shop next week. This is already in motion, and you can buy. Obviously, Nasty branded um, quotes and everything. And I think I, uh, the team was discussing to be able to buy maybe with Nasty because we already have Nasty Pay, so we will pay the equivalent with of, with uh, in dollars in Nasty tokens. Can can you guys throw together some uh, like little one sheets that that people can start spreading around about Nafty merch and um, the Nafty dot art? Uh, sorry, can you repeat what was to do? Can can you can you guys throw together some some one sheets? You know, like some uh, some just small small not really banners, but but small photos that that announce the the Nafty merch shop coming online. You know, uh, with some sample merch pictures on it, so they can start spreading it around. TG and the internet and, and whatnot and start getting the hype on a grassroots level going? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, we're gonna Hard hat this. stickers would be a big thing too. You know, stickers that are no bigger than maybe two, three inches tall. Okay, yeah. We can do this as well. Uh, we're going to develop this anyway. It's, it's not something difficult, so... It will be in motion, and obviously this will help us. We already have T-shirts we have given to ambassadors. I think you saw a lot of videos with Nafti T-shirts with girls already. So we have a few designs. Maybe we can make some more designs as well, and people to be to feel part of the community. And, and George, uh, I agree. Sex toys. I'm sorry. Uh, what about sex toys in the um, merchandise? There will be also. Why not? We can we can do it. It's a great idea. <laughs> Enough to vibrate. Everybody, everybody <laughs> can buy vibrators for their wives while they're yeah. looking at porn. <laughs> or they can, or we can give the models to use for <laughs> some of their scenes. Yeah, that's good. Uh, advertise. <laughs> yeah. And the merchandise will be bought by NAFTA as well, because we already have NAFTA pay. So you can spend your NAFTA tokens to buy some t-shirts. I, I think maybe 
we can even include the shipping costs. We'll see. We'll see what providers we can get for the printing and for the shirt. But it's already in motion. Uh, George, about Nafti funds, I see that the beta site will be ready on the the soft launch will be in twelve days. Yes. Uh, this is do, a do you have any uh, girls uh, that uh, will appear at that uh, date, or it will be just to see the platform? Yes, we will have already contracts with girls. We are in cooperation with multiple on defense agencies and we will have girls uh, who will be using the platform. Then this is <coughs> sorry, then this is a perfect opportunity to start promoting this soft launch because I think Nafti funds will be the, the key element in our project. It will be the most successful and mostly weighted. Yes. So, uh, as you know, before the platform was called Catwall, and we were discussed with him to actually like it to continue to be Catwall and just integrate with Nafti Pay, because like this we can announce partnership with Nafti Pay, which should be ready by this time, and uh, you'll be able to purchase much cheaper if you pay with Nafti compared to Fiat. But obviously, it will be enough defense will redirect there as well. This was what we were discussing today with the team. Is it is the is it possible, for example, next week that okay on the two, in twelve days, twelve seven days, you can uh, start, you will be able to see the page of this girl in Catwall and paying with enough to pay something like that. You can already see Kato. You can register, you can browse. There are already some models on there. You can test it literally from now. And <clears throat> uh, obviously, this is our idea to be able to also process Nafti Pay. And like, I don't know if, you, if, if anyone tried Nafti TV and paying with MetaMask, but it is a very simple process. Any more questions? Yeah, I had a question. Um, I think two weeks ago on the one of the AMAs, we kind of discussed a little bit the affiliate system that you're setting up right now. Do you have any estimates on um, when that's going to be started? Or are you guys still doing research? Or what's that looking like? Uh, which exactly affiliate system? Because we have few affiliate system. Ah, you mean, oh yes, the platform. Yes, it's gonna be launched in Q4. Because I got confused that you that you are asking about the affiliate system that we will build with models as well. Because we are also planning to do this as well. Yeah, because I think once that affiliate system's created, you know, every, the people who already see the value and know where this is going, they're gonna be like wanting to. Uh, get some of the profits as well so they're going to be telling people trying to bring people on with their affiliate link and just putting it all over the place so i think yeah. that's going to be really but, big for the project yes yeah, so actually we we're also thinking one more type of affiliate program and it will work like this it will be also like market tracking and also affiliate management so how it will work you have one portal you each user or each person doesn't matter model community member whoever affiliate from outside from big networks everyone can register they will receive their own unique tracking link and how this tracking click works is when you paste this link somewhere when somebody clicks on this link it caches a cookie on your browser and we can track exactly the amount uh, which the user w would have swapped. So we put this link and some user swaps, let's say 100,000 NAFTA. So we know that based on this link, uh, some person or a network doesn't matter who is, he generated 100,000 worth of NAFTA. And like this, we can not only track marketing, but we can also give payouts to models, to community members, to everyone who is going to promote NAFTA. And we are thinking to developing this in-house. And now uh, the question is, which one would be more important? 
it would it be enough to pay to make the payment uh, integration with other adult networks or Nafti uh, swap plus uh, affiliate integration. So these are, from my point of view, the two most important projects in the ecosystem. And we need to just decide which one to do first and which time would, and which will take maybe less time. We're still estimating everything and we'll start work. But maybe from my point of view as a marketing officer, I think that marketing, tracking and affiliate, it's maybe a bit more important than the payment integration because like this, every person from the community, we can you can generate affiliate links and when you send these affiliate links around for shilling for, I don't know, in websites or wherever you want, doesn't matter, you will also generate... Uh, traffic and you also generate more tokens so I don't wow know that's amazing that. man. yeah and like this we can actually give to uh influencers and we can have two types of payout because how affiliate system works is when affiliate uh, shares the link you can see his balance in his account so let's say he will have 500 dollars of sales that he generated and maybe we can also do some kind of more uh, advanced system because it's not only the idea to just uh, swap nafty and then sell it back and dump it maybe we can do the rewards based on the time that the user is holding the nafty i think this can actually be much better idea and we can do two types of payouts we can do fiat payouts and we can do nafty payouts but I think the system would be really, really cool. And actually, no one in the industry has something like this. Yeah. I mean, uh, I add, I, add one last thing before I, before I go. On the, uh, if you go to nafty.art, it just hits a landing page with a big pig on it. And then if you go to uh, nafty.fans, it ends up forwarding to the catwall site. And as we're touting those as part of the ecosystem, people are obviously going to, to visit them. And uh, if it doesn't have a landing page that's nafty branded, I think that looks bad. Okay, we'll figure this. And for nafty art, it's, we're still uh, on the landing page because it's not officially launched. It should launch in five days. Yeah, but there is there is no landing page. It's just a parked on the bun with a big pig on it. On naftyart.com? Nafty, nah, oh, it's not. I'm sorry. I, I was doing nafty.art. No, 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 it's naftyart.com. Let me double check that. You have a landing page there. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that one's up. Okay, but then the uh, the other one forwards to Catwall. Is there a way to get the um, the the fan site to hit a, a nafty branded uh, page? Uh, yes, we'll speak with the team. Okay, uh, just a suggestion. Thanks. George, another question I have written down from last night. Is there going to be a way that people in the future could stake their nafty coins? Uh, we have something else. We have uh, the burning algorithm and obviously dividend redistribution. So it was 4% to all holders. So... I don't think this works well with staking. And for now, I don't think we have such plans. Thank you. George, final question from me about the, the missing airdrops that Samper is uh, fixing. Being one of them is also me. Uh, he has finalized the list, but he's awaiting your approval to release it. Are you going to release the missing airdrops today uh, we're going to discuss with the team when they're going to be released it will take us some time but we'll, we'll keep you updated with this because i'm i'm not dealing with migration i have too much work with marketing uh, it will be approved by robert who is the ceo Somebody just posted in the chat that the hyperlinks are not working on the for the ambassadors. If that could be fixed, which where exactly?
we are gonna we are gonna look at this. You can you can just send all this. Obviously, there will be books, etc. Just send us in the group or send to France. Actually, send to France. He will he will collect everything and we'll fix. Okay. Any more questions? Yeah, I um, I got a short question about the tokenomics, and I just wondered uh, why were eighty percent burned of the whole token supply before the launch? Because our previous token was with the exact same tokenomics, and obviously we had to do the same in order to uh, to avoid delusion. Okay, thanks. No worries. Okay, any more questions? I guess no. No, you answered all the questions I had written down. Okay, so that's perfect. Okay, so if we don't have any more questions, I would just want to say some final words. First of all, thank you all for the support. And I think we need to make this community much bigger because we have an awesome product. We have, I think, an awesome team as well and we want to make this big so let's try to organize uh, more our community in terms of uh, maybe giving some tasks daily tasks giving some more responsibilities to the people from the community and making sure that we spread the idea of nafti as much as possible and i hope that we can organize this as soon as possible so we can achieve some maybe some minor milestones and goals with the community and i think this would be a great way for us to grow and we have set some internal uh, uh, goals in terms of how many people we want in the community but from my point of view by the end of the year maybe we can be even 100,000 people from the community who will be supporting the project and we managed to actually double our number from before the launch in literally 12 hours or something like this so we are doing good and we're just starting so make sure that you you know, spread the word about nafti that you invite more people to the groups and also the, for the ones who didn't join nafti announcements we you can also join there so you can see filtered messages of the important things that we share because i see that there are thirteen thousand and something people in the discussion group and only two thousand four hundred in the announcement group so we need to make sure that people go to the announcement group as well if we can spread the word and yeah make sure that you also follow us on social media because we have a lot of people on discussion group but not a lot of people let's say following us on instagram on twitter reddit etc so yeah if you don't have any questions thank you all for your time and if george there, and, yeah sorry i don't mean to i i don't mean to interrupt you but someone was asking about coin tiger update i don't know if you if, i don't know if you already brought this up uh i need to check because i'm not uh, one of the team members was dealing with coin tiger i need to check for an, for an update on this but okay. very shortly will be listed on bitmart so stay tuned but i think from the last update that we have from coin tiger was that they were trying to uh, screw us because I don't know what the situation was, but we drained liquidity and we, we gave them notice about the swap actually. 
but they didn't stop the the bank or something else so now they want for us to send uh tokens so we have to see how we handle the situation i'm i'm not very familiar with it but i i know that they were trying to screw us okay well that's okay i think if you guys can find more information and resolve then we can <clears throat> inform our community members that invested that way yeah george george i have another point yeah you really need people who have actually an idea about social media and even more important you need experience mods like in the first uh the first coin the mods were like i never seen something like that like oh guys we are on poo coin and they posted it like pinned it and stuff like that that never ever can happen you need you have a great product you have a great like utility but you i don't know like agada sometimes i don't think she actually knows how crypto works and i don't want to offend her or anything but i just think you need somebody experienced who actually knows stuff who actually knows how to um, like keep a community alive how be proactive and not just like oh guys here and you know what's even more uh, important if you have like an ambassador for example with two million followers just make an announcement say tonight 6 p.m whatever time zone you want to choose big announcement you mute the chat you drop the announcement with the video of the girl and keep the chat muted for two minutes open it and everybody will go crazy wow two not me otherwise that's how you create a hype what you're doing now you these like big big uh, influencers in this uh, market they're just getting dropped uh, on time zones where nobody's actually looking at the chat or it's just like not muted or anything it's just getting dropped so there's another one two and a half million this is actually big news but the big news are actually is not represented because nobody sees it because there's nothing no hype or nothing it's you know what i i i agree with fab on this we do need to because we 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 have all this like eva for example with eva alfie i think we should have we should have really made it like we have a big announcement coming and then boom like show eva alfie and that would have built that would have been built hype and that's not expensive it's just a matter of kind of creating a bit of suspense that's a great idea i fully support this agree and we will do it this is our maybe next big thing that we're going to work on because i think yes we've made great announcements but they just get lost somewhere in the chat so yeah okay so let's people we're, we're people, gonna... people you know what the most important thing is people actually don't know that there are no invest new ambassadors because they are not 24 hours in there but if you post like that at this and this time there's an announce announcement you pin it people actually know there is an announcement and the whole group will be online or let, let's say 20 30 percent more than usually because they want to see what the announcement is but if you just randomly drop the announcement oh guys here's an announcement this and this nobody sees it nobody yeah no i i you know it's a hundred percent i have to agree with that too because nobody goes through goes through the pin messages yeah. All the ambassadors got released yesterday, and I mean, they are all really—they're all huge. Like we, if we if we stop, like you said, if we stop the build the suspense, and then everyone once they finally see, if they don't recognize them, what they would do is they would go to some research about them. Yeah, and then okay, they would say like, "Oh idea. wow!" Like, but do wow, you want... like they have all these followers, and then boom, that's like that's hype right there. Do you want the girls like to join like a? Uh chat session you mentor ama what would you prefer no you don't know oh, yeah. you can get build the hype and get the girls in the chat in the chat at the time of the dropping of the news that will make this coin really skyrocket and you know what they don't even need to say a lot all they need to say is like hey hello guys you know thank you for being with nafty and that's it that's it okay okay that's Perfect idea. My feedback taken, and we will do it. Um, also, George, George uh, oh, sorry, I missed a bit of the um, AMA. Um, is there going to be any YouTube or TikTok influencers that's going to be involved as well? 
for the launch we already have actually i will send you the list of all tiktok influencers and also the youtube videos that we have paid for and their their links and we will have more and more coming soon we'll keep you up to date but we paid i think for more than 20 youtube videos already and for tiktok i think around maybe more than 10 let me see my spreadsheet actually but I think we have even some TikTok influencers with 1.6 million followers or something like this. But we have, I'll send you the list. It was part of the launch as well. So, George, this is what the guys mean that you made so many things, but nobody noticed. Uh, so, that's why I, I also feel that you need uh, mods. Who are professional in this to build the hype to and to have them in uh, the different time zones to know how to announce things because as, as the guy said the other guy said if you did that yesterday you had 10 big announcements it will be double the hype that than what we had i agree you're absolutely right as i told you we are looking for more community managers who will be more involved with the project obviously they will have they will receive compensation for this and we are going to do it. You, you, are, you, you hear us uh, telling you this with, you know, impatience. Maybe you think it's impatience, but it's not impatience. It's that the next two, three days, we need to maintain the hype because if we drop, then we will do like we did with the old version of the coin. This is what we want to avoid at least to maintain where we are right now, not the go going to dive, because then the chart will not be good and you will not be able easily to attract new holders when they see a bad chart. Okay, yes. So we're also looking for shilling managers because I think we need to show now a lot. And I don't know if you saw on the announcement our new corporate identity, how our uh, visual how our designs will look, but I think from my point of view, they look really good. I don't know your feedback. Awesome, awesome. But yeah, unlike all the others, we actually have professional designers, we have professional team, and all of this is obviously expensive. And I think you can actually see the difference. That's why the whole team believes that we are so much undervalued at the moment in terms of market cap and to all our competitors who don't have even i don't know 10 percent of the things that we have they have much bigger market cap so what we need to do is push the community and create bigger community that's why we need chilling we need better community managers and this is the next thing that we're going to focus on the next few days so please if you are interested in becoming a community manager shilling manager let us know and we can arrange. Yeah, so, I definitely I definitely like the, the ideas being shared and where we're going. I feel like, you know, um, there's going to be a lot happening in the next three days because also um, just from experience, um, like they said, we got to we got to as a community move quickly because the worse the chart looks, it's just 10 times as much work to fix it. So. I feel like if um, we implement everything that was discussed today and the community comes together, maybe, you know, on Sunday or Monday for another big push, I feel like we can, you know, get back to an all-time high. Yes, for sure, we will. Thank you. Can you unmute Mr. B because he wants to say something and he cannot? <laughs> Is he in the chat? I am, I am not. I am not muted. I was just not able to talk. This is why I messaged you. So, okay, let me speak then. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, guys. Um, everything looks great. Great job with the marketing. And most most of you knows I am I am holding from day one with uh, like most of you and. I, I believe hundred percent that we will go great places. Hundred million, two hundred million in a couple of months, maybe in a month. 
but for now um, i want i want to make a suggestion and so we have too many announcements but the regular crypto people are too lazy to uh, go and go into a telegram group and check pin messages etc and we need we need to feed them the uh, token through crypto moonshots for example reddit is important coin tiger coin hunt those uh, websites that all the crypto noobs uh, go and try to find new coins uh, it, it, it it is cheap I, I believe and we have people that can um, use bots to get votes there and I really want to stress this please please uh, make a CMS post every day crypto moonshots every day and let's make it top and it will get a really big traction to the token because people are lazy we have to feed them yeah, I think that's actually a pretty clever idea. Guys, I, uh, I uh, hello everyone. I just have like a quick uh, suggestion or question. Uh, how are we with uh, the Chinese uh, market? Because it's a crazy big market of, out there. It's uh, the when the Chinese go in, the graphs go crazy. It happened with many shit coins, with many other coins like that. It's it's insane. So how are we with them? Like how how is the promotion going towards Chinese? We're already translating the NAFTA token official website in Chinese and also in Japanese as well. And we are going to also enter these markets. But obviously, if you have some information or if you have any suggestions on how to get into these markets, we are open to 